hello hopefully all of you are doing good i know it's quite been some time i have not posted anything because i just took a small break hopefully people in india had amazing festive season so let let's start now so this particular video will be on dashboard studio table formatting okay so we will try to see what are the different uh, table formatting available for the dashboard studio now for this example i am using uh, splunk 9 as you can see it over here 9.0.1 because in 9.0.1 they have improved some part of it as well i think they have added some more new features as well so probably it would be more helpful if you are following this particular video along with splunk version 9 okay um, and for this particular video i have just taken this data over here as you can see it i think from from somewhere in the splunk answers uh site some of from some of the questions i have just taken this one okay so it's very like it, it it's it's very much test data and and it, as you can see like this is very much old data as well but but that does not make any difference when we are talking about table formatting right so let's start with this one this data so what i'll do is we will go to dashboard we will create a new dashboard let's say let's say table table formatting demo so we will make it as shared in app we will be using dashboard studio and we will be using absolute layout for this one okay we'll click on create now first thing is we need to basically we need a table so for that we will just go to the visualization and click on this table over here right now this table need a search right so we can just put this search over here right so that's the one and if i just apply and close so this particular table will be displaying that data now as you can see like uh, this is just displaying the data whatever we have given it to it right now to make it more appealing in visual way like so what we can do is we can add a lot of formatting stuff first of all you know this one right like the title the, this should be something you can put it over here the table title so this is very much easy stuff and you can put some description as well so table title will come up over here now in terms of position as you are using absolute layout so you can you can just drag and drop it so you do not need to play around with this one manually even width and height you can you can play around with this one right now in terms of global formatting the road rows displayed is like for each and every page this is the number of rows it will display so you can basically increase decrease this one you can have the row numbers as well over here as you can see it okay in the header row if you see it like whether you have so this is basically used like if you have column name which bigger in bigger in length right so in those case either you can go for like fixed format or hidden format or something right so this is for that one and even you can choose some background color as well over here as you can see it right and this alternate rows will be colored with a separate shade as you can see it over here which also you can govern it from here okay so these are all very simple stuff now the main important stuff is the column formatting okay so and the good stuff about this one is in splunk 9 you can do it everything from the ui itself so let's say for the client right so for each and every client currently i have only one value over here so if you if you click on this particular drop down right so for each and every column as you can see it over here you can basically format it now one thing i have noticed it over here like if 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 you see it like for each and every column it has listed down the column type as well like the first column it has taken as string like order count it has taken as number but for the color count it has taken as color as well okay so i don't know whether it is some internal bug or something it is not allowing me to change anything for this particular column okay so let's let's concentrate on other columns to just to identify like just to understand what how it you should be doing it so for the order count so let's say for the order count i want to format it so i will select this particular order count and then click on this edit button over here so now you can put unit positions and all because for this one it is a order count so that's why you do not need an any unit but if you need unit so you can 
put some unit over there as well okay something like this one so it will be either after or before you can you can paste it over there similarly for precision as well like after the decimal point how many digits you will be displaying it over here so that you can see it over here because order count will be always like integer so i will not I, this is the better option for us right the zero precision and then thousand separator you can we can turn it on right now this is an interesting one it's called the dynamic coloring right so what happens like let's say if you want to color a particular cell or a particular text inside a cell you can use this one so let's let me show you for the text one first so if i just click on text so now as the order count is an integer field right it, it has taken as a number field right so you can either use ranges for this one as you can see it like by default it applies some ranges if you want you can change it so let's say above 80 i just wanted to display it as red as well so if you see it like those above 80 values will be colored as red and less than 60 let's say this value or you can use you can use any other css value as well over here okay so so that that way we can color the text only and if i just apply the same stuff for the background if you just select background over here so this same range stuff will be applied for the whole cell as well over here so it depends on your use case which one you you need to apply it over here and similarly for for the matches so matches what it basically do is if you want to have some exact match and color them so let's say i want to color this 200 values as blue so what will happen so let's color the text only matches 200 color it will be blue only over here as we can see it right let me open the color formatting similarly for let's say 90 so for exact match for this matches you need to find the exact match and then you need to color it basically so let's say i want to color the 90 i want to color the 90 as red or something or some value over here so it will be colored something like that okay so similar stuff so for ranges you'll be basically coloring based on the range values and for matches you'll be basically coloring based on the exact match values so based on your use case you can do that similarly i can apply multiple coloring here as well like i can add another column so let's say the system one right so then i can again go to similar way color it let's say text i will i'll just this time i'll choose light colors because this time here we discussed we have seen the dark colors we can choose light colors as well similarly the same stuff right so here for the string value as you can see it over here that range stuff is not present over here right because the type of this column is string over here so we have only the match value so let's say web shop right so if i just if i just match with the web shop and color it something red or or blue is fine over here right or some this color over here so we can we can we can do it over here and then for the b stock b stock i can just use use this color over here this lime color over here okay similar stuff so this is the way we can we can color a basically we can format different columns in a particular table now the interesting thing is if some way we need to color the whole row is that is there any way we can do it in the dashboard studio probably that i will park it for the next video to discuss okay so hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video